Well, I think we all realize, or, or certainly I feel that, that in order to create a strong community, in order to create a stronger Peoria, we have to have a strong school system. And to, to create a strong school system, I think we need to, to hone in on the, the three issues that I set out in, in my introduction. Uh, that is student achievement, uh, fiscal responsibility, and program development. We have to, as everyone up here has mentioned tonight, student achievement is essential uh, to the school system. And we're not proving very successful at this point at uh, raising our test scores. And I think that is certainly um, part of my vision the main point of my vision uh, of improving our schools and improving our test scores. And, but at the same time, I think that we need to realize that, um, and I certainly realize that 75% of, of Peorians uh, don't have children in public school, either because they, they send to private, they send their children to private institutions or because they're, they're older and they don't have students uh, or, or children uh, in school. And I think that their concern, and rightfully so, is what is being done with their tax dollars. And I, as a board member, I will ensure and, and I will strive to make sure that their tax money is being spent in the most effective and efficient manner. And I think that um, when I, as researching the past and the history of District 150 and where we've been, what we've been doing for the past 10, 20 years, it's disturbing that just recently, from 1998 to 1999, 20% uh, percent of the new hires that we hired were administrators. Uh, during that same time, uh, the number of students fell. We, we turned some schools over to a private corporation to run, and yet it seems that our bureaucracy continues to grow, that the non-instructional, uh, the non-classroom uh, employees continues to increase. And I think that's a problem, and that, that pertains to fiscal responsibility, getting the money out of the bureaucracy and into the classroom where the tax money is, is meant to be spent. Uh, and again, program development. Uh, this is key to attracting and keeping and satisfying the needs of current and, and possibly future students. And that is another issue that, that is part of my vision and, and will be part of my goals on this school board. These three issues I don't feel have been articulated and have been addressed in the recent past. As a board member and for the next five years, I certainly will do my best to address all three and accomplish all three, if, if, if not get working on all three. So uh, as a board member, I wish to uh, work on those three issues to listen to your concerns and to dedicate my energy for the next five years to improving the district. Thank you. Martha? Um, <clears throat> I think we have a big job ahead of us. And as a board member, I'm only going to be one vote. There are seven people on, on this board. And if we can come together on one accord and look at what the real issues are, that's, that would be fantastic if, we, if, if the board could come together on the issues that are important to the community. And I see um, the next five years as pivotal to our success. I think training, uh, both diversity training and other training that uh, the teachers need. I see um, strong administration. Um, in the change in administration uh, to make it stronger if it needs to be changed. I, I see um, people working together um, as collaborative um, efforts with city, with uh, county, uh, with school board. And I, I just see that uh, it's not going to happen overnight. And uh, it didn't get this way overnight and it's not going to happen overnight, not going to change overnight. But I do see the change, and I think we're headed in the right direction. Um, you know, with Edison, with, with some of the changes, with, with the teachers um, getting paid what they're worth, and um, the training that is going to be available to people. And um, I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Let me that question from Andrea. Yes, what, what is your vision for the future of District 150 and as a school board candidate what role do you see yourself in helping to reach that vision that you see for District 150? My vision is every child, when they come out of high school, when they go through grade school and high school, will be able to read and write. That they do have a future after high school. Whether they, if that child is going off to college, fine. But if that child isn't going off to college, that that child, that student does have some type of vocational skill to fall back on. 
My vision is that as a board member, get out in the community and get the community behind our schools. We got to promote our public schools. We got to understand that, you know, what goes on on the south side is going to affect the north side eventually. You know, problems are just not isolated anymore. What happens in one part of the city affects the other part of the city. And from a business viewpoint, it really concerns me because if a child, if a student comes out of high school without any skills or education, where are they going to work? What are they going to do for a living? Who's going to hire them? So if that child doesn't have a future, that student doesn't have a future for them when they come out of high school, what is the point of the student going to school for 12 years? Employers also have to be able to feel comfortable that when they hire someone coming out of a public school, that this student has the ability and the education to succeed on the job. So as a board member, I really believe my vision and my priority will be to bring everybody together to make sure that every child comes out of public school has a future. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> it's a good vision. Uh, I want, and, and I see in the future for Peoria and District 150, uh, a school that will accommodate all stratas of this city. Uh, if we offer enough options and viable options, I don't mean just pilot programs to make them, but options that are viable, then I see that we can be a star in this, not only the state, but this whole nation. We can lead it. We have the uh, people to do it. We have probably the will. And as a board member, I'll be striving for that. I don't just see us being good in this region, but I want to see us good in this whole country. Uh, we have programs, as you talk about, that are viable. We have uh, means. We have the will. So uh, I see it as just offering enough options to actually invite people back and to make people want to be in this district. So that's my whole view of the, uh, uh, that's my whole view of the uh, future, and that's my vision. Thank you. Right. Well, I want to be invited back to have my whole minute and a half for my vision because it's going to take that long. And I appreciate everybody's opinion, but you've used up my time, so I want to come back. Uh, but anyway, very quickly, I want to invite everyone to come to Manual High School to see our future teachers of Peoria. I'm so sorry I didn't mention it. It's working beautifully in a short amount of time, 9.30 on Wednesday mornings. 13 students are working towards being teachers for the future. Many of these students are minorities. Um, I want to answer, go further with that. The vision is to get the vision. Get it fast, make it work. We have good programs, new Edison partnerships, Valeska Hinton. We have our schools that we've talked about, uh, the three primary schools. I believe we have the people, but we don't have the vision, and we have to get the community back as I challenge everyone that cares about Peoria Public Schools. Let's work harder, work smarter, and make it, put it together. <laughs>